On this episode of Ask Dan, I'm going to talk about composable shells, foldable displays, and whether or not we'll see a Surface 4. Stay tuned. When Redstone 3 rolls out with the ultimate mobile device, will it have a new shell for phones and tablets? So one of the interesting things that Microsoft is doing is Windows 10 on ARM. It's basically the full desktop version of Windows, but it's going to run on a phone's processor, specifically the Snapdragon 835. That opens up a whole bunch of doors for all sorts of possibilities. Basically what's happening here is Windows 10, Windows 10 Mobile, HoloLens is all merging together under one core, but now there's also got this issue with the shell. So what's going to happen there? Specifically what I mean is you can't really run a desktop OS on a smartphone screen. It's just too small. There's just too much detail there. So what you have to do is basically have a reverse continuum. You're going to have to have basically the desktop shell turn into the mobile shell. So Microsoft already has this problem solved in the sense that they have Windows 10 Mobile. You already know that interface and you already have Windows 10 for desktop. You have that interface. How do you get those to switch between those? Now it works for mobile going to desktop and continuum, but we have to have it the other way. And so that's why I think it's going to be happening. There is a thing right now called Project Andromeda. We haven't reported much on it yet, but basically this is going to be this idea with shells. Uh, they're going to unify those. Uh, more detail is coming out soon for that. We'll be digging a little bit deeper, but yeah, I don't think it's going to look necessarily different. In other words, Windows 10 Mobile, I think will still look the same there, but eventually Windows 10 for desktop will have like a mobile shell interface and also switch between those. A lot of room here for interesting things for Microsoft, but I think 2017 is gonna be very interesting for those who are into one Windows. Do you think Surface will replace all hardware divisions at Microsoft? So this question's a little confusing because Panos Panay and the Surface team already lead all the hardware at Microsoft. That change happened last year. That means basically not only Surface devices, but anything that comes out of Microsoft is under that tutelage. So for instance, the Xbox One S, that design comes from the same people who do Surface. Uh, and it's basically all one group now. So that means future devices, including mobile and anything that happens in wearables, and yes, Wearables still exist at Microsoft, including health, although it's being reevaluated from what I understand. But all those devices, anything that comes out will be under that same group. So it's basically all Surface in terms of actual hardware design, but the actual names will be different. Do you think HP will make another Windows phone when full Windows 10 comes to phones as revealed recently? So rumors have it that HP at Mobile World Congress may announce another device, a consumer version, the Elite X3. I do not have information to confirm or deny that. It is a distinct possibility though. Back a few months ago, we interviewed the Vice President of Mobility at HP, Michael Park, and he did leave the door open for future Windows phone devices. Basically what he said was, if there's a market for it and they see an opportunity, they will take it. Whether or not they are seeing that right now with Microsoft and the Elite X3 remains to be seen, but the Elite X3 is a solid Windows phone. Say what you will about the Microsoft ecosystem right now for mobile. It's a really nice device and really good hardware, and I think that relationship is very strong between the two companies. So fingers crossed, we will see something. Will there ever be a non-pro version of the Surface series, or was the Surface 3 the last one? So quick refresher here, a few years ago we saw a Surface 3 come out. It was a 10-inch version, non-pro basically, of the Surface series. There was also an optional LTE option, which I really enjoyed. However, this device ran an Atom processor, which was not the strongest, and personally I had a lot of issues with its performance. In fact, we haven't seen a Surface 4 yet, and that leaves the door open. If you take Microsoft's recent announcement of Windows 10 on ARM, I think that is a clear sign of what's going to happen next. I think Surface 4 is still going to happen and I think it'll be one of the first Windows 10 on ARM devices that will come out. As to when that happens, probably not until the fall, so we have some time left. But we should also see an LTE version of that device as well, because after all, Qualcomm Snapdragon allows them to do that. So we should still see something coming soon, but not for a few more months. What are the three things in tech that you see the most potential for right now? So the first answer is definitely going to be mixed reality. Should be pretty obvious here. I think things like HoloLens and Windows Holographic is a pretty big deal. Now, I like virtual reality, but it's a limited case scenario for usage. It's basically just gaming, whereas mixed reality and augmented reality, I see a lot more potential. The limiting factor here, of course, right now is a little bit of the OS, but that's coming online. And of course, the hardware and how much we can do with it. Of course, that will improve over time, so you can wear it out and about in just like regular glasses, but I think that's some very exciting stuff. 
The second thing is basically what Microsoft's doing with one core and composable shells. Basically the idea here that there's one OS but it can live on any kind of system, whether it's a PC, a tablet, phone, or even the internet of things, I think is a really impressive feat that other companies have not been able to replicate yet. There's a lot of potential here. Basically Microsoft knows that in theory the desktop is kind of dying. So they basically built an OS that can live on any kind of device that we create and that's really exciting stuff. I think it opens up a lot of potential for Microsoft too. Finally, the third thing I'm most excited about is the potential for foldable displays. Rumors have it that in 2018, we'll actually start to see these hit the consumer market. Orders are being placed right now by supposedly by Microsoft, Google, and Apple. If you watch on HBO recently, the new Westworld series, you may have seen a foldable device there that to me seems very much like what a Surface could be in the future. In fact, it folds up and can be turned into a phone. If there's any company that's kind of doing something like right now, it's Microsoft. So I see a lot of potential there. There, but we'll just have to wait and see till next year. So that does it for this episode of Ask Dan. Remember, if you have a question, use hashtag AskDanWindows on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Leave us a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.